Lawan Netter's presentation on andragogy, designed for CED 505, Teaching Technology and Learning Theory, provides a comprehensive understanding of adult learning principles and their practical application. Andragogy, a term popularized in the United States by Malcolm Knowles, refers to the method and practice of teaching adult learners. This approach differs significantly from traditional pedagogy, which is commonly used in K-12 education. The presentation begins by establishing a working definition of andragogy, emphasizing its focus on the unique characteristics of adult learners. These characteristics include the need for adults to understand the importance and relevance of their learning, a self-concept that embraces responsibility and self-direction, the utilization of their rich experiences as a learning resource, a readiness to learn that aligns with current life demands, a preference for problem-centered learning, and an inclination towards internal motivation rather than external rewards. Also, Netter delves into the key principles of andragogy as laid out by Knowles. The first principle accentuates the necessity for adults to comprehend why learning is important before they engage in it. This understanding helps in channeling their efforts and time effectively. The second principle affirms the self-directed nature of adult learners who view themselves as responsible for their own decisions and lives. The third principle recognizes the learner's experience as a valuable asset in the educational process, contributing significantly to the richness of the learning environment. The fourth principle acknowledges that adults are motivated to learn when the subject matter is relevant to their immediate life situations. The fifth principle focuses on the orientation of adult learning, which is predominantly problem-centered, tying learning to real-life experiences. The last principle asserts that while external motivators can influence adult learners, internal motivators like personal growth and satisfaction play a more significant role. Moreover, the presentation compares andragogy with pedagogy, highlighting their differences. Pedagogical methods typically involve a one-way dissemination of information from teacher to student, with the teacher's experience being the primary source of knowledge. In contrast, andragogy fosters a two-way flow of information, not only from instructor to learner, but also among learners themselves. This approach creates a synergistic learning environment where each individual's experience is valued. Netter explains that in a pedagogical setting, the teacher predominantly controls the learning process, including what is learned and how it is evaluated. In an andragogical environment, however, learners are involved in diagnosing their own learning needs, with the instructor serving more as a facilitator than a dictator of information. Furthermore, the classroom climate in andragogical settings is characterized by collaboration, respect, and an informal atmosphere that promotes warmth and trust. This contrasts with the more formal and competitive environment of a pedagogical classroom. When it comes to planning and diagnosing learning needs, pedagogical methods involve teacher-centric planning and assessment, whereas andragogy encourages individualized plans based on the learner's experience and mutual assessment of learning needs. In addition, another significant aspect of Netter's presentation is the exploration of self-directed learning, a concept closely aligned with andragogy. Self-directed learning indicates the development of the learner's capacity to be self-directed, fostering transformational learning and promoting emancipatory learning and social action. This approach acknowledges that while not everyone may be initially capable of self-directed learning, with guidance and the right tools, learners can progress along the spectrum of self-direction. The staged self-directed learning model is a useful tool in this process, helping learners and instructors to identify the appropriate level of self-direction and match instructional strategies accordingly. In conclusion, Netter's presentation on andragogy offers valuable insights into adult learning. It maintains the necessity of understanding the unique characteristics of adult learners, the importance of creating a learning environment that respects and utilizes these characteristics, and the need for a shift from traditional pedagogical methods to more adult-centric approaches in adult education. The principles of andragogy, as laid out by Malcolm Knowles, provide a framework for effective adult learning, pointing out the importance of self-direction, experience, relevance, and problem-centered learning. This approach not only facilitates learning, but also fosters personal and professional growth, making it an essential tool for anyone involved in adult education.